Good morning. Happy Saturday. Say good morning. So we are sitting in the Yellow Hammer Coffee drive through It's it's kind of a drive through Yeah, you drive through, but they bought an old bank, so you drive through the lines. Like if you were to, anyway. We're at Yellow Hammer. Um, so I'm waiting on my coffee. Cash got a pub cup. And then I put in an order for some Chick-fil-A breakfast that I'm going to run and pick up. Brian is off today because my nieces graduated middle school yesterday. And I don't know why. Like, tell me for a moment why I felt like I could cry about that. You know what I mean? They're 14. They're getting so big. So they have chosen a pool party today with some of their friends. So we're doing it like donut themed with like donut themed outside with balloon garland, floaties and all that stuff. And then inside will be like graduation themed because I felt like we had to do something like that. So Brian and I have our work cut out for us as far as like cleaning and prepping the pool area. My sister will be over at one o'clock and we are blowing up dozens of balloons, putting everything together, setting it all up. We're doing public sandwiches. Y'all know I love a good public sandwich. so. We're not cooking anything, which is nice. And then um, my mom did buy the most gorgeous little cake, but my sister's also doing donuts because it's donut themed. So we have all kind of stuff happening. So I just wanted to say hello, good morning. And then I think I'm gonna take you along. I'm gonna try to pull the weeds out back in the backyard where we wanna put the mulch and get that ready just in case. Forecast does say it may rain, but I still want to decorate it, like have it look nice out there and stuff. So she knows her pup cup's coming too. She just knows it. And I'll see you when we get home to do some yard work. This is what we're looking like. So these, remember we sprayed them. It's been weeks at this point, but these wouldn't come out for anything. And I just like scraped them out last night. Super easy. So my plan is to get all of the dead things out of this area. All the green stuff too, because that stuff's still alive. Pick it all up, pull it all up, whatever you do with it, and then put the new mulch down. This tree is a little bit crooked, the one that we put in. So I need to figure out a way to straighten it up. See what I mean? So, oh, over here looks pretty bad. Yeah. Also, all of this. I wonder why he didn't weed eat all this yesterday, the yard guy. That's all right, let's get started. have enough mulch for some reason the day that my mom and I went shopping which was weeks ago we only bought two bags I don't know why so oh my gosh hang on I'll see you at Lowe's so like I was saying we're at Lowe's because we only bought two bags and for some reason my mom and I thought that would be enough I scoped this out I'm gonna grab it and we're gonna get a bunch more but also I need some paper towels. I think this is the one that we just had. It looks familiar, 3.33 per bag. Yeah, I think this is them. I think we're gonna do like seven bags. Oh, they're hot. Oh my God. Ooh. Okay, psych, we're just getting six. These are very heavy, a lot heavier than I thought they were. But I think six will be fine. Two more, so that makes, four total for one layer and then we'll have four more for a second layer now for paper towels i spot them right there all right do we want a bounty 
what other brand i found that i really like store brand paper towels probably a little bit better though i've never tried this brand viva i think is a little bit too soft and then we have toilet paper yeah oh bounty essentials i think we're just going to take one of these it's like 90 something degrees outside i was getting a little bit dizzy out there i shouldn't have had that coffee this morning though i didn't even drink all of it because i started working outside can you even hear me from the ac i can't turn it down all right so it's now 11:45. Do we think that I can lay and spread all of this mulch shower before my sister shows up? I think I can do it because at least then we can work inside, but I would like to shower before she shows up. This round didn't take me as long at all. So probably about 10 minutes, I would say. It's not perfect, but it looks better than it did. Brian has blown everything off. Look, I put those in the grass. How cute. Um, so I'm gonna go take a shower. My sister will be here and then I will see you then. Oh wait, yesterday I ran into Dollar Tree to get some, what was I getting, bags or something? And they had these pre-done little bouquets of balloons. So I got two of them, they were 10 bucks. Way to go, Grad. Those colors are so pretty. Congrats, grad. I like that they're similar, but very different because that's exactly how my nieces are. It's raining and my phone's fogging up, but our balloon garland looks so pretty. Hopefully the rain will stop. We also blew up, we got a donut, a confetti. I'm gonna call it animal print. That's my favorite. We have a milkshake. Sing it. And they're like, it's better than y'all. Um, and then, oh, 2023 here. Inside's not ready yet, but <laughs> here we go. Oh, oh, I showed y'all those earlier. Brian it's said, raining. yeah, Brian, <gasps> no. I got that on video. Let me save okay, it. she's going to save it. Um, but Brian was trying to pull up the forecast when I came out here to show me that it's not going to be long. See, it's sunny right there, but not over there. So cute. Oh, I need to fix that rug right there. I can see it. <laughs> happy sunday y'all good afternoon it's not morning for once what time is it it's uh, almost three. Oh, it's almost three o'clock all right so this vlog is sponsored by brooklyn and that's why we have brian and that's why on this sunday we are going to do a little bit of laundry together and i'm very excited for this you're you're not doing i mean us we're going to do some laundry with them Okay, so if you're not familiar, about a year and a half ago, January of 2022, I purchased the Classic Core Sheet Set from Brooklinen, and we loved it. Yeah, very good. What was, the, what was the reason that we picked it out? Do you remember? I think they were cool sheets, Yeah. right? Because they're, they're like always cool. You know how you always search for the cool side of the pillow and, you know, you get in bed and you get hot and then you want the cool. These things are always cool and they're very crispy. So I wash our sheets every single week. We have used these sheets every single week. If you watch the vlog, then you know this. And they haven't changed. And they, yeah, correct. They have not changed. So now we're partnering with Brooklinen to try a new sheet set. So before I show you what we got, we chose to do this again because again of the cooling sheets that we love so much. Also, I remember at the time Brooklinen had like 100,000 plus five-star reviews. So we chose the Lux Hardcore Bundle in the color warm gray, obviously in king, because that's what we have. We're opening it for the first time with you. Oh my gosh, this color is so pretty. We're more of like this cool toned um, type color. So what I love about the bundles is it's a really easy way to save money. The sheet set that comes with it is the core sheet set. You can see it's a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, two pillowcases. Plus the bundle gets you the duvet cover and two extra pillowcases. So the sheets that are in here are the Lux Sateen sheets and 480 thread count. I opened the Lux pillowcases just so that we can feel them. And they do feel sort of like very light, like we like the cooling effect, yeah. but a little bit Lux, I would say the name is perfect. All right, so we're gonna throw these in the washing machine. We will put them on the bed together with you. But in the meantime, if you're interested in shopping, <laughs> there's a direct link down below. Brooklyn and right now is doing their Memorial Day sale. So everything 20% off. It's a great time to really try if you've been wanting to try, but if you're like us and you know you love it, 
then you're saving money. So go ahead and shop the link, but we'll be right back once these are clean, fresh, and we'll put them on the bed together. Normal pillowcases, but this one has a little inside that tucks around the pillow so that the whole thing is covered. I look at that. Okay, we're attempting the inside out burrito roll method of putting in a duvet cover. We've never done it before, so let's see how it goes. Duvet inside inside out. Duvet is inside out under the under this. Okay, so the end that is closed. Is that your side or my side? Roll it like a burrito. Oh. And then somehow you were going oh. to roll it in okay. itself. Yeah, so. You do first so we don't both pull. All right, so you're gonna do this, just like yeah. this. So you're gonna roll it in itself. Roll it in itself. And then we'll hook it, and then you're supposed to be able to unroll it. I know, it didn't look believable. Oh, okay, so you roll. Like tuck it in itself, like this. Like put it in, put the burrito in. It has buttons, hold on, let me show you. So now we button them all. Oh, you button. You button them and then unroll it. Sorry, I watched the video, Brian didn't. And I'm trying to <laughs> verbally tell him what I watched on video, so it's easier to watch it. You're buttoning the burrito. <laughs> and then we, un oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. So it kind of was in itself, but you still unfold it. Okay, okay. Where'd the buttons go? They're, Are they down there? They're down there. Do the buttons go at the top of the bed or the end of the bed? I thought that was gonna work. Yeah, that was a lot easier than I thought. Wow. Right? There we go. I love the color all ready for bed. So I will see you in the morning. Oh my gosh, y'all. <gasps> These sheets are so nice. Good morning, officially. All right, let's talk Brooke Linen. I texted Brian this morning, asked him what he thought about the sheets last night because he left a little bit earlier for work. I will put his response here. No surprise, we like them. I will say this. This is the first time I've ever slept with a duvet cover, and I love that it feels exactly like the sheets. You know, like if you have a comforter and a sheet set, whatever, the comforter feels different, like the texture and stuff feels different. And it was so nice. It was almost like sleeping in an endless cloud of sheets. I loved it. Thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring a video on my channel. Don't forget, they're doing Memorial Day sales now through May 31st, 20% off. You can mix and match 20 plus patterns and colors and styles. And I think the bundle is definitely the way to go. It saves you, I think they said like 25% and you get the duvet cover and the extra pillowcases. So you can shop to your heart's content. All of the information is listed down below in the description box. Again, thanks to them. I hope you enjoyed this and we're gonna continue on with my day. Y'all, it is almost seven o'clock. I've been working so now is my free time to shop with you. So I'm sitting outside of Ulta because I mentioned, I think it was last week's vlog, I mentioned the IT Cosmetics, is it the Superhero Waterproof Mascara that so many people recommended? I love it. It helps my lashes stay up for the most part. However, I find that it gets a little bit clumpy, like in the tube. So someone recommended the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. So we're gonna go in and grab that. I also had put a bunch of stuff in my cart online. That's how I shop. <laughs> like I put it all in my cart online and then I go in store and open the app and look in my cart so that I remember what I wanna buy and it's not there anymore. Maybe it deletes itself after a certain amount of time. I don't know, but I think it was a NYX eyebrow gel, just a clear gel that I wanted to try. I want to get my eyebrows mi microbladed, not microbladed. Oh my gosh, I can't talk laminated, but I want to see how they look first using that because everyone says it's really good. We're going to go in and grab those things. If anything else that we see that we want to grab, we may. I do want to try, y'all gassed me up a couple vlogs ago, was it? Because my hair natural, naturally is kind of wavy. And so many people were like, girl, you should wear it like that. And now I kind of want to try it. So drop your favorite like wavy hair products down below. And next week we may try 
some of them. All right, let's go shop. Also, it took forever. The mulch that I did stained my hands. I guess because I've probably never done that in my life, I didn't know, but it took forever to get the stain off and then all the dirt under my nails. It was gross. Okay, let's go. I don't see the eyebrow stuff anywhere. So we're in lips, eye, eyebrow pencil. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Is this a tint and hold brow glue? That's not really what we want. It's tint and thicken. No, I just want this. That's what it was. The control freak and it's just clear. Yeah, I think this is the one that I want. Essence also sells a lash brow gel mascara for $3.99. I think we may grab it too. What, how much was this one? I think it was maybe $7.99. So we're gonna grab both. Hello. Um, I really loved ColourPop in the past, but I found I used some of the eyeshadows and then I got eczema and I correlated or connected the two together. And I don't think that I should have done that. I think I didn't give it a fair shot, but I am in need of a new eyeshadow palette. I like the Makeup Geek shadows and you buy them individual little pans, um, but they're no longer available. So, like, these colors look good. What is that? That's taupe. But also, this one's pretty, too. California Love. I'm thinking that maybe I should try an individual shadow first before I spend the money on a whole palette. But these are all shimmer. I don't really want a shimmer one. And the ones that I would think would go for this palette aren't there or no longer available. I think I'm rethinking it. I was going to grab this one. But I just remembered I have a big uh, Morphe palette that I rarely use because that might be it actually. Yeah, the Supernatural Glow because it's so big, but I do own it. So we're gonna put this back. Too Faced Better Than Sex. I think this is the original and I think this one, yeah, Better Than Sex. I think the blue, I'm trying to do this with <laughs> while holding this stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, waterproof. Is it all black? Do I pick a color? Oh, I love to show you what the wand looks like. Yeah. Damn girl. That's the waterproof this one, the regular one. And then they have it in eyeliner too. And I do need another makeup balm. We're gonna grab. I'm running out of free space with my hands. I actually looked in the Good Molecules section because I like their products and they have a balm that's like 10, maybe 15 bucks, but it's out of stock. All right, many, <laughs> it's not many. Ulta haul. It's many in size, not in price. Oh my gosh. All right. First and foremost, let's talk about what I went in for. I found the mascara. I'm excited to try this. It was $28. That's expensive for mascara, but I guess I don't remember how much I paid for the It Cosmetics one either. And then I got both of these, the NYX Control Freak and the one by Essence, just in case. Plus they were both less than, I think this one was $7, $3.99, so 11 bucks. For both of those, I feel like that's a steal, it's worth it. Y'all saw me get some more of this. Like I mentioned, I went by the Good Molecules section and they were out, theirs was 15 bucks. So if you use that one, let me know. I know a lot of people recommended e.l.f. Probably the last time that I bought this with y'all. The only thing with e.l.f. is it doesn't quite work great for me. Like really any of their products for some reason don't really sit well on my skin but let me know about the good molecules one speaking of good molecules i grabbed their yerba mate wake up eye gel i was on the hunt just perusing for good under eye cream you probably you might be able to tell it's just like a little bit of puffiness right here yeah i can i can kind of see it right now and i've never really used any eye cream consistently so I figured if I'm gonna try one, let's try the $6 one. I did price the It Cosmetics, is it Confidence in a Cream Eye Cream? And I compared that one with the Origins Refreshing Eye Cream in the orange container. And they were both very expensive. And so I'm like, that's a, lo that's a lot of money, in my opinion, to spend on something that may not you may not end up liking. So then I Googled and the ROC brand, is that what it's R, big R, little O? big C brand, they had one that was recommended. So I went over to that section and looked, but it was also tiny for like 30 bucks. So we're gonna go for this one and see if we like it. I also saw online that a, a gel or a serum is a little bit better than a cream for under eyes. Is that true? I don't know. You can Google the simplest thing and 
59,000 answers will pop up and it makes it so hard to determine what you think you need. That's why a while back when I went to the med spa that I like, I just bought all of their recommended skincare from their brand because it was a professional looking at my skin telling me what to buy, but that got to be very expensive. So long story short, we're trying this one. And then I also did grab the Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. My sister uses this and really loves it. I've used it in the past and really liked it. Again, it's just a little bit pricey, but if I can find something that I really love and sort of balance out my routine with maybe something a little bit pricey with something a little bit more affordable, then I'm willing to do that. My skin, I feel like maybe the past six months to a year, it's sort of switching from dry to a little bit more oily. My entire life up until that point, I've had super dry skin, super dry skin. It didn't matter how much I moisturized it, I would always have not really flaky dry skin, but it's almost like my skin was just so thirsty. And I wonder if it's, I don't really know what's happening. So I don't, I don't know. <laughs> There's that in case you wanted that tidbit of information. All right, it is now 7.30. I'm going to go home, cook some dinner. Brian should get off at 8 o'clock. Hello, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, so I'm getting ready to film. I think it's like 8 something in the morning. I swear these lights make me look all shiny right there. But the point of me starting this was to first say hello, good morning, but also I tried the couple of makeup things that we bought together. So I used the Control Freak Brow Gel. I guess my brow hairs are a little bit long and need to be trimmed because they don't really hold them up, but I like a clear brow gel. So we're gonna go with it. And then I also used the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I like it, but I also liked the other one at first and then it kind of started to get clumpy in the tube after a while so we'll see how that works out and then I tried a new like makeup eyeshadow routine I was on TikTok the other day I should have saved it but it was a woman who said she was a makeup artist back in the early 2000s and said if that's when you learned different eyeshadow looks then you're most likely doing it a certain way and here's how to sort of change it up so I followed her technique which was basically instead of putting the darker eyeshadow in a V here and then carrying it into the crease. Only do it in the crease, but actually a little bit higher than the crease. And then I used that Thrive Cosmetics eyeshadow stick and a lighter or smaller line of eyeshadow for my eyeliner. My sister and I are actually working together today, so that should be fun for us, for us as in me and you. So I'll see you when she gets here or when I pick her up because I'm actually swinging by her house because it's on the way to where we're going. There she is, folks. There oh. Here I am. <laughs> there she is. Did Every you find? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone said no. So no. let me look in my car because I think mine's in the truck. I asked her for a notepad. I forgot mine at home. If not, that's okay. I can use my phone, but that's what she's looking for. We're trying mug shots. <laughs> I tried it. Candace was telling me about some kind of wrap. Yes. That is really good here. Some kind of. It's like a buffalo chicken wrap, but you can switch the sauce. A buffalo chicken wrap, but you can switch the sauce. I just said that. Right, but they might not be able to hear you. Buffalo chicken wrap, but you can switch the sauce. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's why I can't take her nowhere. Here we go. The wrap that Candace has so highly recommended with the, what was it, sweet chili? sauce instead of the buffalo we've made it to the beach y'all lunch was good by the way here we go um oh, i took my shoes off welcome to dolphin island again Did you leave your car? my car is on Hi. well can you open your door and open the window just in case it locks by itself <laughs> anyway here we are it's not super sunny but i think that's probably best for pictures what this is our golf cart no i'm just kidding it's not, but we might try to sneak a little picture. Okay, let's get started. It's video? Sure, what are you doing? Video. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. First spot done. Done. I'm probably going to put on that swimsuit. They turned out so cute. Okay, we're going to see if we can find another little nook. I love that color. It's so 
fun. It's just nice to be at the beach because I think that was you. Because I'm just like in a swimsuit driving my car. And this is, I feel like this is how I live my best life. You know what I'm saying? In a swimsuit driving your car? Yeah, I'm just like at the beach in my swimsuit. Also, do you want to tell them what we did over lunch? <laughs> so we had a very expensive lunch. We went to mug shots thinking, okay, we'll spend 30 bucks on lunch. <clears throat> I think it turned into like around $700. Mm -hmm. But we're going to Covington, Georgia to the Vampire Mystic, oh. the Mystic Falls Mystic Tours. Mystic Falls Tours. <laughs> Vampire Diaries. Vampire Diaries. Yay. And we're staying at this, um, the Dolly Parton Suite. Yeah, it's like a Dolly Parton themed Airbnb that we found. It's all pink. I already it's told Candace, pink. bring your pink outfits because we're about to take a ton of pictures in there. It's not until July. You're coming with us, don't worry, but. Look how shaky. It's not shaky for them though. Oh. Well, I don't know that I have any pink outfits, but well, we, we can have shine. Time. She already looked up Vampire Diaries like inspired nail art. <laughs> I'm excited. We tried to go last year in August, and Taryn was doing a bathroom remodel and freaked out about the money and yeah. canceled. So here we are again. Luckily, they saved my information and they gave us a credit yeah. for the tickets that we had previously bought. So it ended up being actually cheaper than we thought. Yeah. I'm so excited. And I'm bringing the girls, my kids. Yeah. But so they can't be on camera because they're weird. They don't care about they it. They're like teenagers. It. Yeah, they're just weird. They don't want to be on camera. All right, we're going to switch out swimsuits. True that. And we're in a new little nook. Found Wel it! Welcome to Taryn's dressing room. <laughs> Candace is putting on this swimsuit. I have put on this one in the bag. We're struggling a little bit. And I literally was just looking everywhere for my phone. And there you are. Spot number two, a little more sand dooney. Oh, it's getting nice out. Will you uh, tighten my thing in the back? I rigged it because that tie was actually supposed to be in the front, but it's a little bit too big. Okay, so just tight. Yeah. Oh, yep. Thank you. Got it. I can't see this camera at all. It's so either. bright out here. I don't think you're in the frame. I think you are. Oh, good. Thank you. And here's Candace in this one. Cute. Oh, cute. Well, we just ate a bunch of food, okay. but we did book a trip. This cute top. Just the top. We're in a new location. Candace is wearing a new swimsuit. Look how pretty though. Let me show them real quick. Look at this. We gotta watch out for gators. I think. You don't think so? Uh, if I say no and you get eight, you're gonna be <laughs> mad. Uh, I'd be dead. <laughs> anyway, they, they look how pretty. That's the bridge that we came in on. A little to the left. Yep, there you go. Look how pretty. I am home now. We had so much fun at the beach. We almost didn't go because the weather showed it was going to be cloudy and then actually raining in Dolphin Island and it wasn't. So I'm so glad that we went, but I'm going to end this video here because I need to edit you so that you can watch this tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Again, thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. I hope you check out the website. Again, all the information is linked down below. Don't forget about their Memorial Day sale. I am in love with the sheets. We slept on them Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, and then today's Wednesday. So three nights so far. Brian made a comment last night when he got home twice, two separate times saying, I really do love those sheets. So I hope you check them out if you're in the market for sheets. There's a sale. If you're not in the market, maybe you need a great gift for someone. Highly suggest. So thanks for watching again. I will see you in my next one. Bye y'all.